Hey guys and welcome back to the Imagine Ford tutorial. In today's video I'm going to be going over a dynamic footstep system in first person. So previously I went over just a normal footstep system for first person so if you don't have a mesh or animations this is going to work and I am actually going to be advancing upon that video to make this system here. So if you haven't already seen that I'd recommend going watching it as we set up the base code for the footsteps and in this episode we're going to be determining which sound effect to play depending on the surface we are on. So let me hit play and I'll show you what it's going to sound like. So we get in, we can walk around. Here we just have a normal sound effect. So this is just going to be our default one when we don't have a material designated. We've got grass, we're going to get a grass sound effect like this. If we go on wood, we're going to get a wood sound effect. And if we go on concrete, we're going to get a concrete sound effect. And you can set these up to be however you like as well. Completely customizable, you can have different materials, as many materials as you like. I actually think the cap is about 50, but you can have quite a lot. There's a lot of choice and a lot of customization for this. So let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done this. So the first step we want to take is we want to import and create our sound effects. So actually let me delete the sound cues as well, sorry. So what we're going to do is import the sound effects we have. So I've just got these ones off of freesound.org and they're the same sound effects I used in my third person version of this for the dynamic system. So I'm going to be using concrete, grass, and wood. Now again you can use as many as you want, you don't have to have two for each one, you can have one, three, anything, I just wanted two to give them a bit more variety. And once we've done that, once we've imported them, we're going to make sound cues out of them. So we're going to right click, go to sounds, create a sound cue, I'm going to name this one concrete cue, you can name this concrete footstep cue, but this is going to work for me. Now minimize this a bit and drag in our concrete footsteps in here, like so, dragging them down, out of one of them, I'm just going to get a random node, plugging the other one in there. Out of the output, I'm going to get a modulator, plugging that into the output of the sound cue there. So now when we play it, we're just going to get a random sound effect between them. Now it's a 50-50 chance I only have two, so it's most likely just going to go between the two like that. However, again, the more you add, the more random it's going to be. We can save, close that, and then we can just duplicate this. So right click, duplicate, name it grass cue and I'll right click duplicate that and name it wood cue. Now we're obviously going to need to open these up and change the sound effects inside them. So grass cue, we'll delete the concrete ones, drag in grass, plugging them in there accordingly like we did with the concrete. So now we play this one, it's going to be grass. And also I should say a note, the grass footsteps are the same ones from Minecraft. So when I made this video before, I said that they sound like the ones from Minecraft, but I wasn't sure. I've looked into it and they are actually the exact same ones. They're all Freesound, however Minecraft found them and used them. However, the license on Freesound is still the same. Close that, change the wood ones as well to be the wood footsteps there, plugging them in there like so. And so now we have our footstep sounds set up for how we want. So what we want to do next is we want to set up our physics materials or our physics surfaces. So we have our grass, wood and concrete. We want to actually determine that these are those in the engine so the code knows which is which. We're going to go to edit, project settings, and once this loads we're going to scroll down until we find physics here. So it should be under engine, go down to physics. We're going to scroll down until we find physical surfaces. Now I already have these, but what for you it will just be non, and you can change non to be wood, or whatever you name it. So it will be non like that, I'll press no, uh, but you can just change it from non to the one you want, so i.e. wood, grass, concrete, dirt, sand, anything like that. And now it, the name doesn't actually matter too much, you can name it whatever you like. If you're using it on wood it doesn't need to be named wood, but obviously it just makes more sense to give it the correct name. And then once you've set those up for the amount you want, again we can have a maximum of 62, not 52, like I thought earlier, so it's 60. That's the maximum we can have, so you put in the amount you'd like. And then we close that. Now we set up the actual physical materials, so that's the surface, now we'll do the material. So we're going to right click, go to physics, and we're going to create a physical material. Select the physical material there, hit select, and I'm going to name this one grass PM for grass physical material and open it up. And actually I'll minimize it as well. Right click, duplicating it, naming it, naming this one concrete PM, and right click, duplicate that and get wood PM. And then we're going to open all of those up like so. In here with the grass PM, we're going to change this physical properties surface type down here from default to grass, save and close that. That's how easy it is to create a physical material. 
and then close that change wood to be our wood physical surface there and concrete will also be the concrete there save and close it so now we've got our physical surfaces and material set up we need to designate this to be the material we want so to do that that's also very simple you see here i have grass wood and concrete textures or materials so what i'm going to do is just open those up so i'm going to select this double click my material there to open up the grass material what i'm going to do is the physics material down here so under physical material you have phys material there i'm going to select none and set it to be my grass pm which i created i can apply and now that grass material in engine is also physical grass material so now this is known as a grass physics material we can close that and i'll do it for the other two as well so wood double click that to open it up change the physical material to be my wood pm and apply that again setting this all up is incredibly simple it's very easy to do and it's very simple to understand as well close that and do it for our concrete as well you see they're just compiling there just because they're updating to be this physical material inside of it as well apply and that should be that part done for actually setting up the physical material parts so we've designated surface types materials and put them inside the material as well so we can close that and what we want to do next is we want to actually set it up to determine which one to use so we want to find out if we are above or if we're walking on grass wood or concrete so we're going to be doing that in our character blueprints we can go to content first person bp blueprints first person character and then as you can see here this is the code that we created last time so again if you don't have this i'd recommend getting it what we're doing is off of our movement inputs we're just seeing if we are moving and if we're not jumping and if we are we're just going to play a sound effect with an interval that we can set so just underneath this code we're going to right click and add a custom event and i'm just going to name this check physics material you can name this whatever you like so check material or anything like that but check physics material makes sense for me out of this we're going to get a line trace by channel the start is just going to be get axe location so from the player's location and then for the end we're going to come out of get axe location and get a vector minus a vector and we're just going to take away 144 off the z now this might be a different value for you and your character this is basically just the height of the character so it reaches the floor 44 is usually a good value which works however for me that isn't working in this example when i tested it earlier so you just mess up the value until it reaches the floor so this is now going to draw a line from the player all the way down to the floor to then obviously see which surface we're on so what we can do is hold down b left click to get a branch plug that in there with the condition of the return value so if we do hit something we're going to fire off and the out hit we're going to get surface type so if this hits something it's going to see which surface is hit which is using our physics surfaces which we just made in project settings out of the return value we're going to switch on e physical surface plugging that into the true there so now it's going to see which surface we're on so again very simple to do we're hitting the floor and if we do we're going to see which surface the floor is default we're not going to do anything but you can set up just a generic sound effect or no sound effect if you'd like but for the wood grass and concrete we're going to change our sound effect so instead of playing a different sound here what we're going to do is we're going to come up here until we have our play sound at location we're going to right click on the sound promote to variable and name this one footstep sound effect leaving it plugged in there so that we can just change this variable to be a different sound effect to again keep it nice and efficient compile and save that and if we scroll back down here to our switch for physical surfaces we're just going to set this out of all of them so wood we're going to set footstep sound effect out of grass we're also going to set the footstep sound effect and the same for concrete there and again you can do default if you'd like however i'm not going to bother so then all we can do is out of wood we're setting it we want to set it to our wood queue out of grass set it to our grass queue and then concrete we'll set it to our concrete queue so now apparently i don't have a concrete queue what did i name it ah, yeah i spelled the queue wrong okay there we go i missed a c in it now concrete queue there so as you can see we're going to be setting the correct sound effect dependent on which surface we're on which will then play the correct one up here again using the code we made last time and that's it done it's very simple so we're going to select this hit c to comment it and i'll just do check physical surface for footsteps like that move it up and then we also need to call this so what we're going to do is out of here so off of the add movement inputs we're going to come out of this call function check physics material or whatever you named this down here and then we're going to plug this into the branch so it's just going to check the material whenever we want to move and play a footstep sound effect so we compile and save that and this should now work perfectly for us so we can close hit play to test this we fell we got a normal sound effect 
we walk around, these are the sound effects we set up last time. If we walk on the grass, we get the grass sound effects. If we walk on wood, we get the wood sound effects. If we walk on concrete, we get the concrete sound effects. So this is working perfectly for us. So I think that'll be it for this video. If you've done everything you want to do, we set up this dynamic system in which we can have different sound effects on different surfaces, i.e. concrete, wood, and grass in this example. But again, it's very easy to adapt on and add more and as many as you'd like. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.